Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, now I think all of us, when we are in a spot, up a creek or stranded with a problem, we scour the internet for that quick rescue solution. And hopefully today, this video will be one of those for you. Right, so if you do your own motorcycle maintenance, then the chances are that you will, at some point or another, come across a broken off bleed valve. Now, either you broke it off yourself, over tightening it, which is rare, or alternatively, it was just corroded and weak, and you tried to undo it to bleed the brakes for the first time in a long time, and it just snapped off. Now, whatever happens when that occurs, it is a nightmare, because if you can't bleed the brakes, then you have to start ripping the caliper apart and considering whether you even need to replace it. Now, first of all, can you actually drill them out? Can you drill out that stump down inside that hole? There is a problem with that. Don't drill outside the width of your broken bleed valve. Drill down into the center of it and get an easy out in there and try and remove it. Don't try and drill the whole thing out and then re-tap it larger. There are bigger bleed valves, you can get eight mil ones, but you may not have enough meat around it to do it. If you take a look at these pictures of calipers here, you can see there's not enough metal around the bleed valve to drill out a larger size and tap it bigger. The other problem is, as you can see, at the bottom of these things, there's a taper. And the taper at the bottom of the bleed valve matches the taper in the bottom of the caliper body. And those two tapers will seal against each other. Well, your drill bit that you're poking down in there is a different taper to that. So when you drill it down, you get a nice fresh new taper in the bottom, it's wrong. It's a different taper to your bleed valve that you're gonna put in. So even if you manage to tap a new one in there, at the bottom it's not gonna seal properly. And then you've done damage to your caliper body, which means you'll probably have to replace it. And that's an expensive option. So sometimes it's better if it isn't going well and it's just not gonna work and you can't get it to move. There is another option that works every single time. I'll show you. It's a brake banjo union, as you can see, with a bleed valve fitted through the center of it. How simple can it be? A straightforward solution to this problem, thus completely eliminating and bypassing the bleed circuit for the caliper itself, which is seized up and useless to you anyway. And it's a great way if you've got an absolutely obsolete caliper and you want to use it, perhaps on your classic bike project, then this will press that lovely old classic caliper back into service and you can use it again. Absolutely fabulous. Now, the other thing is, well, many people might argue you're not pushing fluid through the bleed circuit in the proper way, so you're not bleeding the caliper up as you might do. Well, that's quite correct, and the simple solution to that is push the pistons on that caliper right back into their sockets. Get them right back as far as you can so there's no air or fluid in that caliper at all. It's just a solid block. Then, as the air comes down the line, it bleeds out the back of this clever little bleed valve. You nip that off and you've got solid fluid in the line and there's nothing in the caliper. A couple of pumps of the lever and it pushes solid fluid into your caliper and you're back in business. No worries at all. Now they come in single and double banjo, in zinc and in stainless, so there's all sorts of different options for your application. I'm going to put a raft of links under this video in the description so you can buy yourself, like I did, a bag full of them. I bought a bag full of these, put them in my toolbox and I've already used two or three of them. Buy a handful of copper washers as well and the rubber caps and that way if you ever have this little crisis, well you won't, will you? You'll avert it in no time. So there we are, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope that got you out of trouble. Join us in the next one for a Harley Davidson Sportster service. A very special 1200 sports that I've been looking forward to getting on the bench for a very long time. I think you'll rather like it. I'll see you next time. Born in 46, raised up in the sticks.